Hello, everyone. Welcome once again to Spinistry Live. I am your adventure host, Kevin Lee. And uh, today we're going to, we're about a week behind schedule on this update. Go into that shortly here. Uh, but we're going to try to give a snapshot of what things are looking like for uh, spinistry events and things we can help everybody with to enjoy the outdoors for the next 30, 60 to 90 days. Uh, let me explain where we're at, why we're doing this now, as opposed to about a week ago, like we originally planned. We were going to give a July 1st update with our expectations for events because uh, towards the middle of June, it looked likely that uh, the reopening and going back to normalcy stuff uh, wasn't going to keep continuing in that direction. Obviously, it looks more like that even now. And the nuts and the bolts of it are, it, 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 it makes it almost impossible to plan anything more than a week or two out. But we're going to start with our first event that's scheduled for this coming weekend, Sunday. It's a North Shore time trial. Uh, that's a mountain bike time trial event for club spinistry members. That's still a go that will be on and because there's there's no group gathering on that or anything like that basically we're going to take times for club spinistry members that want to have an official time uh out at north shore again free for club spinistry members i'm gonna hit the back button here see if it takes me back to the correct page yeah there we go excellent this is the page i thought we were on to begin with so Recommendation, whenever you want to see what we may or may not be up to, the best place to go is Facebook, the Facebook Spinistry page, and then you click on the Events tag, tab, and it will bring up our upcoming events calendar. Now, in these uncertain times that we presently live in, nothing is in stone here, but uh, this is what we're working with right now. So July 12th, North Shore Time Trials, that's a go. That is happening. Uh, free for club spinistry members. If you don't have a club spinistry membership and you've been thinking about it, just at the top of our Facebook page, there's a, a link uh, button you can sign up for club spinistry. Uh, July 17th, we were talking about doing a uh, point to point adventure weekend. The current unknowns around. Uh, if there's going to be more shutdowns or restrictions or whatever, make this part of that weekend an unlikely thing at this point. It was going to necessitate us utilizing private property for some overnight camping stuff and things like that. And we don't want to be in a position to make property owners feel obligated to us at this point. If they're not comfortable having groups of people on their land, we're not even if it's a small group, uh, we're not going to pressure anyone along those lines. So the point-to-point -point aspect of that weekend, I'm probably going to sh uh, shuffle this off to the next month and uh, maybe even September, let things cool down because it is getting hotter than the devil's scrotum out there these days. Um, so uh, multi-day point-to-point might be tough. We were going to do the point-to-point -point in conjunction with another uh, night train ride out of Sanger. We uh, had fun with that last month. We're, we are doing that again this month as well. So the night of July 18th uh, from the railroad ball field in uh, Sanger, Texas, we'll have another Club Spinistry night train ride. The 2020 Midnight Massacre, uh, we haven't expected this to hold up to this date for some time we've kind of been sitting on our hands wanting to see what it what direction it looked like things might be going for events and things like that to see if we might have some sort of date to reschedule to in mind at this point we got nothing to be perfectly honest with you nobody knows what's what's around what's around the corner right now we don't want to put people in a position to expect to do something and not be able to carry through with that and we're definitely not going to be collecting registration and sign up fees for events that we may not be able to put on august 16th uh we'll touch on this a little bit more in a little bit more detail uh 
there's uh, there's some virtual rides going on in conjunction with the SBT gravel, um, and we're gonna we're gonna offer support in some capacity to clubs ministry members that are riding some of those routes. Uh, an extension of that, our International Grand Prix of Gravel. This is something we're actually pretty excited about. Uh, we originally had it in, I, it's all such a blur now. It was a March or an April date, along with the North American Handmade Bicycle Show. COVID-19 stuff kicked in. Uh, NABs moved to an August date, and we moved to that date with them, August 22nd, uh, with the expectation that COVID-19 stuff might be you know, back to closer to normal at that point. It's not. NABS isn't happening in Dallas anymore. International Grand Prix of Gravel is still going to happen, but in a completely different format. Um, and we're actually pretty excited about this. So stay tuned through the video. We'll touch on International Grand Prix of Gravel very shortly. I just want to get through our overall calendar through a realistic time frame. September 5th, we had an MTB placeholder. We were planning to do uh, Spinistry mountain bike races first weekend of every month. So that's why we had some of these placeholders in there. September 11th will be another club Spinistry ride. This might be when we move that point to point weekend to. Uh, as of right now, I'm going to stop here. Uh, right now, September 27th, held in North Texas, out of Paris, Texas in conjunction with Tour de Paris weekend. Uh, right now, Hell of the North Texas is probably our next scheduled traditional event. We do not have sign up open for this. We do not have registration open for this at this time. I wouldn't say that we expect to be able to put this event on at this point. We just have no clue. But we're moving forward with with the exception of the International Grand Prix of Gravel that we're about to go into more detail on that. Uh, we're moving forward with the expectation that Hell of the North Texas on September 27th uh, is the earliest we might possibly do a traditional spinistry type of event. Between now and September 27th, uh, we're going to do a lot of stuff for club spinistry members. Uh, we literally have plans to have something available every week, never with the expectation that there's going to be hundreds of people at any of these. Along those lines, we have our North Shore time trial this Sunday for mountain bikers. On July 18th, it's a Saturday night, we have a club spinistry night ride out of Sanger, Texas. And uh, again, August 1st, we'll probably do some sort of something and then august 16th we'll have our meetup ride uh, but there's going to be a lot of people riding gravel all over the place on that day uh, and august 22nd is when we go into our revised version of the international grand prix of gravel i'm going to just give a quick snapshot a quick overview of the concept we have in mind right now we don't have everything finalized Ultimately, what we're looking at doing with the International Grand Prix of Gravel is turn this into a 1,000-mile virtual event where people can ride their own routes, primarily gravel-based, and log, log their miles, get their rides in, and enjoy a competitive aspect of it. So the competitive nature will come in many ways. So it's going to be a thousand miles cumulative that uh, it'll be like a virtual uh, rat route. The map will show, you know, you if you've ridden 100 miles so far, it'll show where you would be on the rat route after 100 miles. You know, you ride the routes that you want to to accumulate your miles. Uh, there will be a competitive nature in it that we're going to try to identify suggested routes that will have a higher likelihood of more people participating on that that particular route, not just with our event, but with other events that uh, are going on in the same time frame as well. So there will be a competitive aspect to it there. Uh, but just accumulating your miles 
will be a chunk. Now, here's what's going to be a little bit different about, and this is why we we wanted Pan Eraser's buy into it. Uh, Pan Eraser's International Grand Prix of Gravel has prize money associated with it that we're going to pay out. We have to. I mean, we're putting on an event to support the riders, the racers, and our 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 partner, Pan Eraser. Uh, we have prize money to award, so we have to figure out a way to do that. Uh, what we've decided to do is everybody that enters this virtual event that we put on is going to be eligible to win a portion of that prize money. The rough draft is something like this. If everyone that enters is eligible for a drawing for the prize money, and however we break that down. We haven't even, you know, we know we have X amount of money to give away. We're going to be reaching out to other partners and sponsors and things like that, see if we can get some other swag in the mix. You, just by registering for the event, you earn a spot in the drawing. Anybody that completes the event, the full 1,000 miles, will actually get other entries into the drawing as well. We're thinking something along the lines of every 100 miles you complete gives you another entry in, into the drawing for prizes or money or whatever. The basic idea that we're kind of playing with is there will be an, there will be an entry fee for the International Grand Prix of Gravel. Everybody that pays that entry fee is basically that entry fee would be applied to a either a spinistry membership if you don't have one already or towards a renewal of your next spinistry membership. But you'll also get some cool goodies along the way. Like everybody that enters, we're gonna, you know, off the front, we're gonna give a, you know, a spinistry sticker and a pair of socks. We're gonna mail those to everybody that enters the event. Every 250 miles that you actually complete, you'll get another little bonus spinistry perk mailed to you along those lines. And again, the more miles you accumulate, the more opportunities you have to enter the drawings at the end of the event. And the, the rough idea is that we're going to kick it off the original date, August 22nd, with the plan for 90 days. It's what we have in mind at the moment. Give everyone 90 days to accumulate as many miles as they can. Panaracer International Grand Prix of Gravel, we're very excited about. Start getting ready for August 22nd, 1,000-mile virtual race. Anyone can do it anywhere in the country, I guess theoretically anywhere in the world as well. And that kind of takes us to our next step. Uh, the plan is to start putting together a uh, club spin industry weekly adventure trip of some sort for people just to do whenever it fits into their schedule. And so we're going to kick off next week with uh, what's a pretty cool route around Lake Worth. And the, the ideas of these Weekly spinistry adventures, yes. The idea is people can ride their bicycles on this route and see some cool things. Uh, but it, it, we also want it, it's where it might be a pretty cool day trip in a car as well, or maybe in a four-wheel drive vehicle if, if it goes into the National Forest or things like that. That way people can get out with their families or their spouses, partners, whatever else, and the whole family wants to get out and do things. Uh, so we're going to try to put together these Club Spinistry weekly adventures with what we think are cool routes, showing off some cool stuff. Every chance we get, there's going to be some interesting history involved, definitely with this this Lake Worth one. There's a bunch of history involved in this. And usually we're going to try to point people to, to some good food and drink when it's appropriate. And there is definitely some good food and drink to be had on this route. And going back to our August... Uh, 16th Club Spinistry meetups. Um, that's going to be in conjunction with the uh, the SBT Virtual Gravel uh, Weekend on August 16th. Uh, they'll be releasing more details about the routes and specifics, uh, I believe, Monday for Dallas, North Texas area. Uh, so th those routes will be available to everyone to ride uh, but we're probably going to, if you're a club spinistry member, have some additional support if you happen to be riding some of those routes that weekend. Go back to the spinistry main page here. 
if anyone has any questions, feel free to comment on this video or email us, spinistry at gmail.com. Please, if you are watching the YouTube version of this once everything's put together, do uh, like, comment on our video, and most importantly, do subscribe and share this with others. The comment part is extremely important as well because we do want your feedback. We don't have all the answers, but we want everyone to find ways to enjoy themselves outdoors and figure out how we can help them accomplish that. And uh, we're going to go out there and start putting together these weekly adventures for everyone. That's top of the list. And then we will have the International Grand Prix of Gravel. Sorry, I just, I love this logo. I'm thinking there might be some t-shirts involved. We'll figure that out too. Uh, we're looking forward to putting this virtual event together. So any thoughts and comments you guys have along those lines, please do share.